guys, let's have a look at down in a hole then, a nice moody number. And we're moving between chords, so it's going to be an A minor to this G, and then to this D. Well, normal D. It's the G that will look a bit weird. And this is the G I recommend whenever you're moving between C's and F's, because you don't have to move your whole hand around. So we're going for a nice smooth transition, that's why we're using that one. All right. So, from the beginning, and straight away when you look at this tab, you can see that you've got four pairs of quavers or eighth notes. So everything's equal in this bar. You've got coffee, 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 coffee. So when you practice it, try not to speed up your hammer on. Have it nice and equal as everything else. Otherwise you'll get like a... And that can kind of make everything feel a bit disjointed. But we want everything nice and equal. All right, now before we jump into that then, Pima fingers, thumb is taking care of E, A and D, index on G, middle on B, and then ring finger over there on the E string. And we're going to hammer on straight away, so we're going to pluck this A string, pluck our B string, and hammer that note on, which just means th these guys could be off, to be honest, for a second, just so you can see what's going on. So we're going to pluck it, hammer it on, pluck it, hammer it on. Don't worry if it's quiet. As long as it's there, that's the important thing, okay? So then let's have a look at it. I'll talk you through this hand with the fingers. So thumb and middle first, hammer on, index, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb. Let's do that again, let's go slower. So hammering on, thumb and middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb. One more time. So thumb and middle together. Index, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb. Good. Then we're going to move over to G. Let's make sure these guys are in the right place. They're so happy when they're over by the sound hole. When they're up the neck, they're not a happy puppy. So make sure you don't pluck up here. Okay, now we're, pl 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 we're plucking <laughs> our two E's, then our B, then our G. And those two are open, so nothing to worry about there. You might wonder why I've got that one down as well. Well, it's just in case this thumb is, I don't know, sometimes you know what it's like. You're playing, and every now and then it'll just slip, and you go, oh, why'd you do that? Well, if that's down, it's not going to sound wrong, because it's got the chord down, so it's all good. It's like a safety net. So we're going two E's, so thumb and ring, middle, index, and then over to a D. Notice I leave that one down to pivot. <laughs> pivot. Leave it down, it's your anchor, then you can find D from there. So D string and E string, thumb and uh, ring again, middle, index. So let's do that bar again, get your G in place. I know this can feel weird, this will take some training. Just bear with it, you'll get it. So thumb and ring, middle, index, plucking D and the E string together with your thumb and your ring again middle, index. So all together that should be a nice Jessica Dump T T Jessica Dump T T And you'll notice so long as you got your chord down if this goes a bit scatty and starts jumping strings, starts changing the, the fingers that are plucking it, it's not the end of the world you don't really notice. And that probably will happen because you've got so many repetitions of this little phrase. But that's okay. So long as your chord is down, that's your safety net, you are good to go. So that is the riff that will take you through pretty much, I'm going to go for 60% of this song, <laughs> if not more. It's a lot of the song. Okay, so the second section we're going to look at then is the chorus, where things get slightly more abstract. I kind of think of this a little bit like Sweet Home Alabama. It kind of moves the same way in my fingers, I was going to say in my head, but it's not really in my head. My fingers have remembered that they like to do this shape, bouncing on a C in the bass, bouncing on a G. So with this chorus, you've got a nice, then you're going over to your C, then your G. And I'm talking about the bass notes here. So we're going from an open D to a C, that's your C note, the note of C, then a G. And with this chorus, we don't have the safety net. We're not holding down the chords. We can hold down a two when we're doing our D minor, but we can't hold this one down because we want that kind of dreamy abstract feel to it. 
So, let's give this a go, nice and slow. So, thumb, ring, middle, thumb, ring, middle, over with your middle finger onto that C, thumb, over this side, thumb, ring, middle, thumb, ring, middle. So, it's quite nice in that sense, it's very re repetitive, so it's good to get in your head. So, thumb, ring, middle, 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 thumb. Ring middle. I'm laughing because it jumped string. Luckily it didn't sound too awful because I think it hit an A string when we were playing D minor. And an A is in a D minor, so I was lucky. Pure luck, guys, pure luck. <laughs> Yet again, I would say, guys, stay by your sound hole, then you won't make these mistakes that I'm making. So let's have a little bit of a look at the rhythm with this one. So you've got Jessica Dump Tea Coffee. That's the first one. Let's look at that first one again. So, Jessica Dump, tea, coffee, and that fee is tied over the bar. So it doesn't mean you play it twice. You just hold it for the equivalent of a T, really. It's a bit like going co tea, <laughs> and then you've got a coffee, really. Coffee, dump, tea, tea. So again, I'll go even slower with that because I know that was a little bit heavy. Sound like Marty McFly. But here we go then. So from that abstract D, you got Jessica Dump, tea, co tea, coffee, dump, tea, tea, Jessica Dump, tea, co tea, coffee, dump, tea, tea. And I'm counting the three as a T. I'm sort of ignoring the quaver rest on the end, which is fine. It's fine. You could do it like that if you want just the quaver, or you can just let it ring. Up to you. Doesn't really matter, guys, as long as you count it in the rhythm. But like I said, the most important thing is don't play that three twice, otherwise you'll get this and it'll sound a bit weird. But that said, if that helps you with your rhythm so that you can feel where the beats lie, then by all means do play that. But that's your chorus. But it's not all of the chorus, that's your down in a hole. Losing my soul Down in a hole Losing control and Then you can just strum I to D minor Like C Then F to C Fly Go to a G back into that first riff. So let's look at I'd like to fly again. I'd like to fly, but my wings have been so denied. And you'll notice I did two different Fs there. I've done my easy F, but you might want the crunchy bar chord of the F on been so denied, just so you get that nice, mm, that drop. That's better. I was in a bad position there, guys. I was too far back. I was getting a lot of buzzing. If that happens with you, bring it forward. Get more pressure. So to get that F, just in case you're not familiar with it, bar first fret, E major shape here. As if you were playing E major down there, but with your ring finger, your little finger, and your middle finger. Just slide it up one. Got a very nice F. All right then, let's see if I can go all the way through with this one, guys. I have had to learn this from scratch. It will not be like the original, but I'll certainly try. <laughs> and I know already this hand is probably gonna make some stuff up and make some mistakes, but just bear with me. You never know, it might sound lovely. <laughs> Let's give it a go.
understand who they thought I was supposed to be. Look at me now, I'm a man who won't let himself be. Down in a hole, losing my soul. in control I'd like to fly but my wings have been so denied down in a hole when they put all the stones Losing my soul Down in a hole Losing control I'd like to fly But my wings have been so Losing control I like to fly But my wings have been so So that's my attempt guys <laughs> but as you heard you know sometimes your hands they can just sort of get carried away they can drop down play different strings but like I said before if your chords are down you're not gonna go far wrong it's gonna be fine the chorus is probably the only place where you might do something a bit different but that's fine too you could pluck D minor to C to G and you can hear that still sounds right As always, guys, take the tab as guidelines and have a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one. See you all again next time. Bye!